I'm going to ask you a few questions and basically they're fill in the blank. I like hearing or listening to. Oh, okay. You like I like listening um music. Okay. I love it when people say Thanks, mom. <laughs> That's a nice one. I wish I had more time to myself. Okay. And um, I can't live without... Yoga. Without yoga. Okay. Well, that goes right into something I know you mm -hmm. enjoy doing. Um, yoga, have, have you been doing it for a while or is it kind of a new thing for you? Yep. I've been doing yoga about five years. I started when my youngest was one and I could get back into physical exercise and it really helped me through a lot of postpartum depression. Hmm. It helped me get more physically active after having three babies that wreaks havoc on your body, even after the year of nursing and all that stuff, you know, lifting them and whatnot. So it helped my body, but it also helped my mind because it was, I, mean, I struggled with postpartum depression mostly after my third, my second and my third, and it shifted, it was a paradigm shift for me. It shifted thinking, it shifted the way to relax, it shifted a lot of things. So I need yoga. Cool. Now when people think of yoga, there's obviously a standard form of yoga, but then there's like hot yoga and, and other types of yoga. Which which mm -hmm. form do you primarily do? I'm kind of a purist. I okay. do mostly Ashtanga. Um, I do Ashtanga primary one series, primary series, and um, you know I try to do it a baseline twice a week, and I, you know I have to throw in a little cardio to be a sane person, <laughs> mm -hmm. and to be able to eat chocolate and peanut butter. But um, <laughs> Yeah, I try to do it a minimum of twice a week, but I also do vinyasa. I don't really do hot, too slippery for me, but I do vinyasa and ashtanga. Okay. Um, now, obviously, being a mother and having children, how is the experience of being in Minnesota and um, what Minnesota has to offer been for you as a mother? Would you say this has been a good place for you to raise children? Mm -hmm. After we began having children, it was a conscious choice to stay here because I wasn't working in the news anymore and, and my husband and I at the time were moving all over for my jobs. So once I stopped working in the news media, it was a conscious decision, we're going to stay here because this is such a fabulous place to raise kids. My husband and I had both grown up in New Jersey and while that's a fabulous place, it's not like this. Your communities, our communities, excuse me, here are built around the family. Neighborhoods are built around safety for kids and having parks nearby and access to libraries, parks, cul-de-sacs, things like that. Um, and the traffic alone getting from point A to point B is <laughs> so much easier and more manageable than it is out there. You have way more choices here in the schools. My children are currently in Spanish immersion. That's a public school. They don't even know about that, you know, out east in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, where my brothers and sisters' kids go to school. So I'm so grateful for the progressiveness of the Minnesota communities and the educational system that I would never think, I would never think of leaving. Okay. Um, another thing I want to ask you, um, you obviously have a very busy and active life. What's something that you would like to try to accomplish, say, in the next year or two? as like a personal goal, either either professionally or, or maybe since you're into uh, exercise and athletics, like some achievement you like to reach. Oh my goodness, I have zero athletic achievements. <laughs> I look at people who are training to run a marathon or running a marathon and I think, wow, it's almost like well, I'm a different species. Athletics for me are non-competitive in any way, shape or form. Not to say I didn't play sports as a kid, of course I did, but yoga is the opposite of competitive physicality. It, not at all. I do it for me. I do it for my body. I don't even look around. So, um, no, I have no competitiveness for athleticism my, in my own goals. Okay. Um, one thing I would like to do more of is I just started a blog. Oh. And generally... Yeah, I I, about a month ago mm -hmm, or so? Okay. Mm -hmm. I, maybe, I maybe only have five posts. Okay. And I started the blog, me, for me, for therapy, because it helps to write to get it all out, but it is now an adjunct to my show as it's like a different part of me. I can't always talk about everything on the air and people want to know about certain specific topics that, that we do cover or it's just very personal and very in-depth. Nobody wants to hear me blather on about Jordana for two hours. <laughs> so when I write my blog, it helps me and then it helps me connect with folks out there. I've gotten an incredible response to the blogs that I have already written and maybe because they are so raw 
and so personal. It's about my divorce. It's about my kids. It's about my bank account. It's about the struggles of getting divorced with three small kids and your life turning upside down when you didn't expect it to. So it's been extraordinarily cathartic for me to write my blog. It's been scary to then post it because then CCO reposts it <laughs> and it goes everywhere. But there was a lot more on. exposure. It, right. And that can be nerve wracking because it it's is. very real and raw. Yes. 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 It's, it's not, a di it is sort of a diary, but it's not. I understand that it's going everywhere. Right. Um, but there are real emotions that I'm feeling at the time. And it's a lot of stream of consciousness. There's very little editing that happens with my blog. It's what's in my head comes out at the computer and then it gets posted. It, that's been great for me. And again, the response has been amazing. So what I would like to do in the next year is really amp up the blog. At this point, I post maybe once a week. I would love to be able to be posting twice a week, and I would love to create a community of people um, to respond to the blog and to comment and to open up some lines of communication around blog posts. Uh, you know, I get emails from people, I just got one after this last post from a woman in Baltimore. It has no idea that I have a radio show. Don't know anything about me. She just mm -hmm. found my blog somewhere online. I just post on WordPress. I don't even tag it or anything like that, but it gets reposted and passed on and she's going through a similar situation. And again, no idea I'm a radio host, no idea about anything, but wanted to connect on that level of whether it be divorce or uh, low funds in a bank account, whatever it was. And I think that that's amazing. I don't only get to reach the listeners, I get to reach other people with similar circumstances. So I would love to um, amp up the blog a little bit in the next year. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks, Jordana, for your time today, and we appreciate getting to know you.